Yeah! Look at that Leatherface bastard go! Fuck him, kill him, Leatherface! Kill the bastards! Anyway. So anyway. So what are we looking at tonight, motherfuckers? It's fucking Thursday. Wake up, it's Thursday. It's Thursday. Welcome to Metal Goth Lore Thursday. I'm so happy you're all here. Let's take a look at this shit. Let's take a look what we got. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So as far as I'm concerned, only the original movie, only the original movie from 1970 and fucking four is the goth metal lore we're looking at uh, in the future. Not the sequels and definitely not 2022. Fuck off 2022 movie. So let's take a look at the description. Age 13. That's nice to know. So that's that. And there is Leatherface. So let us take a look at the descriptions in the back. Because why the fuck not? Who will survive and what will be left of them? It's a one versus many fight for survival. One person plays as the deranged Sawyer family, struggling, vic uh, stri dragging victims to their farmhouse and harvesting their meat for a grisly barbecue. The other players are the unwitting trespassers doing everything they can to escape a hideous fate. But in this game, there are no winners, only survivors. Will you make it out alive or end up on their fucking menu? And so there you got the bone dice. So let's take a look at all the stuff that life has to fucking offer. Toss that there. So here we got, this is the freezer box. So this is very important in the game. Um, we have here, who will survive? So this is... Basically, uh, this is a uh, this is a scenario. These are the scenario cards. So, what is the setup? What is the scenario? And how do you react to it? So, there's about four, five different scenarios. Here you got trespassers, right? So, trespasser cards. Here you have the old man, the old man wallop, attack action, roll two dice. You cannot give a trespasser their fourth injury. Bury it instead. Sweet talk. If there's a trespasser in your space. Roll three dice. Take one fear for each success. Hog tie. When you take a move action, you may carry one trespasser. So there's your, those are your actions. These are the item cards. So here, there's an orange card. Now, this is cocking, it fucking important. Because with this car, it's one of like a few cars you can take and you put it on the board. And you get the fuck out of there. Because the objective is to fucking survive. This is like Resident Evil on fucking steroids. You understand? You fuck off in the fucking car and you don't get the fuck back. You don't get the fuck out of there, okay? It, it, for for Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield, they just had to find out the secret of the T-virus. These stupid, four stupid people right here, these four motherfuckers who had no business being anywhere, anywhere, any butt fucking where. Can we get it in focus, please? I'm already pissed off. Let's go. Focus. These four pieces of shit had no fucking business being anywhere near the fucking house. So they get what they deserve. They get killed. Okay. So that's them. Okay. So you get the fuck out of there in the fucking getaway car. So that's what you want to do. Then you got uh, desperation cards. Now, this is kind of like hangman, but without the letters. You want to get away from these guys. So if you don't, they chop off a piece out of you. And if they chop everything off of you, then you're pretty much fucked. And that's the, the end of the game. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, um, then we got the trespassers. So here you got after a trespasser enters a new region, spend two to move a sawyer to the red hallway. Free attack actions. See, there are many of these. There's trespassers. So uh, you can hide. What is it? Can you hide? Yes, you can hide. If you end your turn in a space with a hide symbol and without any sawyers, replace your mover with a hidden token. Sawyers cannot attack to carry at, or carry you when you are hidden. At the start of your next turn, replace the token with your mover. Move upstairs or downstairs. You can take a move action in the stair space. Make a noise and place your mover in the stair space on the other house board. You cannot run up or down the stairs. Fire. If a trespasser or sawyer starts their turn or ends a move in a space with a fire token, collect two die, roll the two dice to attack them. You can have up to four item cards and any number of personal items. If you ever take more... Immediately bury items to go get down to the limit. And what else have we got? Here are the fucking dice. Here are the fucking dice. So, yeah. 
So there's the dice. You have white. You have slash. Only three figures in the whole board game, and this, these are the fa uh, these are the family members. And of course, there's the star of the show. There's Leatherface himself. Ooh, right. So we got uh, this is the upstairs. So this is very important. Okay. So here are the counters. Okay. Here are the markers. Here's the other side with the birding and shit. Here are the horrors, secret passage, trapped, cluttered, picked clean. So there's that stuff, right? Then we got frequently asked questions. This is the goddamn manual. Read the manual. I can't imagine. Now, with video games, they had manuals, and they stopped having manuals. What board game does not have a paper manual? Chess? Checkers? Backgammon? Well, you're supposed to know how to play that, right? You probably do need a fucking manual to play checkers. Uh, so here is a listing of everything. Very nicely done, like a lot of board games. This I thought this board was going to be huge, like my Fallout board game. And I was really happy to know that it was not that big. In fact, it's probably about, if I were to measure it, but I don't have my, I don't have my ruler. So I, I would say it's about, oh, about a foot long, about a foot wide. You know, square feet is like uh, one one by one foot. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. One foot, 12 inches. So very good manual. Got all this shit in here. Look at this. Everything's in here. All the different scenarios. There's leather face, leather face, uh, chainsaw, relentless, of course. I mean, ending your turn, nothing to lose. There's a lot in here. So what you're trying to do is a dangerous game of chess, and you need to get the fuck out of that house. Get in the getaway car. Get the fuck out of there. Okay. So here is, and here's the chainsaw. Very important. You start desperation, grandpa, hitchhiker, desperation, desperation. And at the end of this, on the blade end is fucking Leatherface. And you draw two cards, which makes things worse. And right here, we got downstairs. Here's the downstairs. You got the kitchen. You got the red hallway. You got the washroom, pantry. You got study, nook, foyer. Dining room, sunroom, room, vehicle, vehicle. So these are the different, these are the different getaway vehicles that you see around you here. And about five of them. Okay. And here you have uh here is the uh, the nice art in the back. Here is the introduction. You know this introduction. You've seen there's the meat hook. So you see here the game in which you are about to play is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of four youths. So you, you this is the familiar uh narration that we all remember and i'm not sure if this connects to that uh, i wish it did no yeah so this this artwork doesn't connect to this but i wish it did oh well so that's it that's it for the uh texas chainsaw massacre board game um i would say that uh it looks pretty good the presentation is very good um i'll give the presentation i'll give it a b plus to a minus because presentations are hard to measure we're talking about the game itself how does it how does the game feel overall well we will not know that for a while i will not i will be playing this on my own i do not know when and if i will uh show this for a future but for a future goth metal lore um that's it that's it fuckers that's it so um for now we're just uh we're going to see how the next thing plays out. Uh, what's going to happen on Sunday? A uh, surprise. Who knows what it'll be. But until we know what's happening on Sunday, it could be a movie, could be art, could be music, could be board game playing. Until then, uh, rock on the lore and rock on the fucking gore.